Hello YouTube, this is Joshua428Spiggy and welcome to another reaction video. This one's going to be on Death Battle, YouTube vs. Shadow. Basically, it basically has the theme of being genetically created. Created, genetically created for science, per se. Okay. Yeah. Now with that out of the way, starting in three, two, one, start. With Death Battle, our combatants are always extraordinary in one way or another, whether they're a superhero or a plumber. But these two are literally built to show up the rest of their kind. Mewtwo, the genetically engineered Pokemon, and Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Fuji was working to create a brand new life form which would change the world. That's great and all, but he had something else in mind. Fuji hoped his experiments would help him discover a way to resurrect the person he cherished most, his deceased daughter, Amber. With unlimited resources funded by mob money, he figured out how to clone his daughter's ball of consciousness. Because science! But before yeah, he could finish, he had really to create the either. most powerful Pokemon, to a clone me. of the legendary mm. Mew. And he named him Mewtwo. Yeah, Fuji wasn't very creative when it comes to naming, but when you can create a new life form with nothing but a fossilized eyelash, you know you're a master of genetic engineering. A field I'd love to get more experience in myself. Don't you a thousand times, Wiz. You're not going to alter my DNA. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? That's actually that. impossible to do. Always I watching, mean, Wiz. Always. I mean, Growing up in that a would have to... Only they could, cre they could create that. Tests, that's what's hurt. Including perfect. Amber herself. But, there's some sort of psychic link. But Amber did we resurrect the by? Sun, or the moon, tears, and... I don't know. It's oh, and also death when oh, she died for good right in front of him. I have no idea Worrying what I'm this may about. be too mentally traumatic for the still infant Mewtwo, Dr. Fuji's team erased all memory of her. Unfortunately, this left Mewtwo with a feeling of loss and confusion, and no memories to explain why. With nothing else to do, Mewtwo decided to take out all his aggression on all of humanity. Then he turned some stupid kid into stone, a bunch of Pokemon cried, and Mewtwo figured out humans aren't so bad after all. Mewtwo is one of the most powerful psychic type Pokemon, well, defeating well, its foes with the power of its mind. Hey, right, wait a minute, you keep calling him it. Is Mewtwo a guy or a girl? Well, neither. Technically, it's genderless. Oh, how does it bang? It doesn't. Bummer. Well, one thing's for sure, it's got balls. Uh... Of ghost energy that blow holes in stadiums. Add an onslaught of undodgeable stars, multiple types of defensive shields, and a healing ability for when those shields don't quite cut it. Alongside its other abilities, Mewtwo's favorite move is Psychic, a powerful form of telekinesis. With it, Mewtwo can effortlessly send enemies as heavy as a 500-pound onyx flying through the air. He can even make himself fly like a Zubat out of hell. Also, it can augment its melee combat with psychic energy or occasionally a massive spoon. Would you say he sometimes spoons his enemies? No, nothing about Mewtwo is cuddly, especially when it uses Hyper Beam or Psy Strike. Attacks so strong they can incapacitate the toughest of Pokemon in a single hit. And when trouble comes a-knockin', Mewtwo answers the door with a badass Mega Evolution. Mewtwo is one of the few Pokemon capable of Mega Evolving without the assistance of a trainer. As Mega Mewtwo Y, it gains enormous boosts in strength, defense, and speed. Making Mewtwo powerful enough to fly into space while carrying a robot bug monster. Fast enough to breach escape velocity over 25,000 miles per hour, over 32 times the speed of sound. So, really, really fast. Mewtwo is so skilled in its psychic prowess, it can wipe specific memories from dozens of people at once. On top of all that, it can survive a massive amount of abuse. Like the time it got double impaled by an alien Pokemon's tentacles. Didn't they censor that? It effortlessly defeated most of the Pokemon Champions team, including a legendary Articuno. It also teleported an entire crater lake from the top of Mount Kana. 
This lake is comparable to a similar body of water in the real world, Lake Kilatoa, which holds over 385 million tons of water. Wow! That's almost enough power to lift my ex-wife on buffet day. Being a psychic Pokemon, Mewtwo is naturally weak to bug, ghost, and dark-type damage. Strange Dr. Fuji didn't pull that code out of his DNA, but whatever. Hey, you gotta have some sort of failsafe when you're making the world's most powerful Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, that is actually a good the idea. Powerful psychic Pokemon. Bugs! Oh, God, it's a Caterpie! Get it away, it's spooky! I was not born a Pokemon, I was created. And my creators have used and betrayed me. So, I stand alone. Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Professor Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Sonic's forever balding nemesis, worked to create a new life form which would change the world. It was called... Project Shadow, a covert government operation to discover the secret to immortality. Besides, you know, like diet and exercise, because fuck that. In Professor Gerald's case, specifically for his granddaughter, Maria, who was dying as a result of neuroimmune deficiency syndrome. Now that I think about it, Project Shadow is a pretty scary name for a program that's all about curing diseases and saving humanity. Maybe it has something to do with the program's secret pact with a hive mind alien race called the Black Arms. Perhaps. Mm. Okay. So what do you get when you take immortality, the cure of all diseases, aliens, and put them all together to make the ultimate life form? You get a hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog was the first step toward a perfect future. And during his time in Gerald's space laboratory, Shadow and Maria grew very close. Until they were separated by a bullet. Turns out the governments of the world weren't too fond of all the evil alien business, so they stormed the place, captured Shadow, and killed Maria right in front of him. Fifty years later, Shadow escaped and decided to take his revenge by just killing everyone. Until he remembered Maria's last words were pretty much, don't be a dick, so he changed his mind. Now on the side of good, Shadow dedicated himself to protecting the world from the forces of evil. Turns out fighting the bad guys isn't too hard when you've got super strength, super speed, helped along by some awesome rocket shoes, and a bucket of deadly chaos powers. By channeling the potentially unlimited power of the Chaos Emeralds, Shadow can enhance physical attacks, heal over time, and strike with powerful energy blasts. And with the power of Chaos Control, he can warp through space and distort time, slowing it down to a crawl, or with enough power, freezing it completely. He's got so much power, he can only contain it all with two inhibitor rings around his wrists. Unless he gets all seven Chaos Emeralds, which he can use to transform into a Super Saiyan Shadow. Super Shadow, yeah. As Super Shadow, he is completely invulnerable, can move at the speed of light, and has unlimited access to the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Enough power to stop the Space Colony Arc's collision with Earth, and to teleport a giant comet the size of a city. Assuming this rock is half hollow and using the density of concrete as minimum base, this black comet must weigh at least 915 million tons. Even without his super form, Shadow is powerful enough to wipe out an entire alien fleet in one blast, fast enough to reach hypersonic speeds, and strong enough to play tug-of-war with a giant space monster who is so big, he uses a planet a tenth the size of our moon as a chair. Naturally, when you've got this much power, you're probably a cocky dick. Yes, Shadow is excessively overconfident in his abilities. Also, he has a terrible memory. This guy has spent most of his life wondering who the hell he is. And even when he does remember, he usually winds up losing his memories later anyway. To be fair, if I fell from outer space and all I lost were my memories, I'd consider it a really good day. I mean, I lose them from just falling over at the bar. That's probably not because of the fall. Also, we can't forget that the Super Shadow form only lasts so long. Then again, when you move at light speed and have control over space and time, who cares about time limits? Not usually a problem for the ultimate life form. Many years ago, Professor Gerald Robotnik endowed me with the power of chaos control. A normal creature like yourself doesn't stand a chance against me. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Okay.
Oh, so high. Oh, so high. Stop you! Another gem? What's he doing? Chaos! I must know. No! Control! <laughs> But you're done! You, at the end of the, 
at the end at the end the actual. Make sure you make sure you check out the actuals. You, you, how you can help me. Okay, now with that out of the way, this is just ready for two eight. Sign off. For more of my work, click here, the channel, or me and links in the description below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to support this channel. Got anything for me to react to that's less than 10 or 5 minutes? Leave a comment down below. No poor, no fascist, no misinformation.